Now, I know I got a brother who, uh, he said from a young age, he knew that he wanted to play music. And, um, you know, of course, his father wasn't having that. He said within his household, he had to either go be a doctor or a doctor. That's all he had as an option. So he came home trying to play a guitar, and his father was not having it. Welcome to Message from the Motherland. What's going on, world? Welcome back to another episode of Message from the Motherland. I'm your host, Tim Ford Jr. here. Thank you guys for tuning in again and joining us on today. And today I want to get right to the point and talk about you know, how it's not easy being a pioneer. You know, with, with, with whatever you're planning on doing in life, if you plan on being the first one to do something, <clears throat> you have to know, you know, that it's not an easy task. Many of us on this journey of thinking about coming to Africa and doing things on the continent of Africa, you know, we are really pioneering something that's never been done before. If you're coming from America or any of the Western nations and you're planning on coming to Africa, you're actually pioneering for your family. And if you are a continental African, someone over here who's doing things on the continent, many of you guys are pioneering things for your family right now. Many of you guys are stepping into new territories, going against sort of, I would say, traditional norms that's been passed down through colonialism. You're pioneering things in that way. So, you know, it, it takes a special type of person to be a pioneer, and we know, you know, it's not an easy task. So I want to talk about some things that really can give people strength on figuring out how to pioneer and be a strong pioneer on the journey of, I guess, pioneering. So, um, you know, one of the points with being a pioneer is, um, you know, most pioneers are thought to be crazy within their families or within their friend group or whoever they're around. Most pioneers, most people who are thinking of doing something new or going on a path that hasn't been charted before, you know, people are going to call you crazy and think you're doing something that's like you're ruining your life. So you have to be okay with going alone and being in the space of, you know, uh, people will call you crazy. And most people even like to believe and think that when they begin something that everyone is supposed to jump on board and believe them and say, oh, this is a great idea. But usually when you see something that's capable of being done, you're the only one that have that vision. You're the only one that can really see it. And it's up to you to either articulate it or bring it to life so that other people can see it as well. So, yeah, when you start your journey of pioneering something, man, just be OK with being called crazy. Like we've been called crazy so many times for doing what we did. We literally packed up everything we had and sold what we could and came to Africa. That sounds crazy to a lot of people, but it sounded crazy to me to continue to stay in that environment. So, hey, you got to pick what's crazy and pick what, you know, what you want to be known to be crazy for. Because um, during the gold rush, I forget which year it was, but when they all had to go to San Francisco in order to dig for the gold, Back in the 1900s, you know, it was some people that was called crazy for believing that they was that they would tap into the gold mine, was tapping to the gold. So, you know, you have to go on the path and be OK with people frowning at you or having something to say or feeling some type of way, because that's when you know that you're on your path of really doing something and pioneering something great. And um, another point I have is most pioneers have a small amount of friends because people only try to use them. Like you have to be okay and know and feel, be comfortable with knowing that if you have a vision, if you see something that you are bringing to life, if you are working on something magical and amazing and beautiful, other people see that as well. And everyone isn't working the same way that you work. Everyone isn't confident in their abilities. Some people are really like stealers. Some people are culture vultures. Some people literally will come and try and take over or overtake 
what you have going on because it looks amazing and it looks promising. Some people will even try to replicate or recreate what you are doing because you are on a path that's promising. So you have to be okay with knowing that, you know, you may get backstabbed on your journey. You may get connected with individuals who say that, you know what, we're going to work together. We're going to build together. We're going to be into in this together. And they turn their back on you and do the same thing that you're working on. So being a pioneer means you're going to be lonely in some of your nights and some of the work that you're doing. Because many people are, with the way that we've been trained to be through colonialism and the way that we've been brought up throughout the societies that's been put on us, you know, we tend to steal from each other. It's like a crabs in the barrel mentality, like they like to say. Like if somebody sees someone doing something promising, instead of them helping to support it, their first initial thought is to try and steal it and do it themselves. So, you know, unfortunately, we have to fight against that on this journey and in this time that we're in. Hopefully, you know, our children don't have to deal with those type of things, but it may be a universal thing that happens. So, yeah, um, be okay with people, you know, not being with you for the long haul and pretending that they are. When you're on your journey of pioneering, it's going to be lonely. Be okay with being lonely. Be okay with doing it for your family in the dark alone until somebody comes later. Nobody will believe in it until they start seeing things come to life. Like When I first moved to Africa, my family thought I was crazy. They didn't understand. But now, almost four years later, I'm finally getting the respect in the way. They're like, oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I understand. But it took almost four four years. So... You know, you have to be okay with, if if you have a conviction, if you know that something is going to be what you think it is, you have to make sure that you are confident in that and knowing like, okay, I may be alone and I may get backstabbed, I may get hurt. Some things may happen to me where, you know, it try to throw me off my path, but you have to stay focused and know that being a pioneer means going through some of the hard things so that you can make sure that you're found worthy of actually getting to what you say you're going to get. You have to go through the dark moments and go through the dark times. So when you get to the other side, it makes it that much more promising. So coming to Africa, pioneering something, is going to be dark. Coming through your family, trying to go through those things that y'all used to do and trying to change things, it's going to be dark. You're going to have some dark moments. So be encouraged to know that's a part of it, man. Pioneering ain't easy, y'all. Um, a quote I want to give you guys is... A pioneer is someone who sees potential where others only see problems. Many people see the problems, air quote, the problems in Africa and only see problems rather than coming up with solutions. Like if there's uh, thousands of problems, there's millions of solutions to those problems. So instead of focusing on the problems and focusing on what's wrong, you can literally shift your mindset and say, you know what, I can fix these problems. The more problems you can fix, the better off you will be in life. Like everyone has a problem in their life. Many of us have the same problems. We're all humans. We all have the same wants and needs and what we need to get accomplished and what we're trying to ultimately seek is really the same thing we want peace we want happiness we want love we want to be a part of a tribe we want to make sure we have a house we want to make sure our family is good so solve some of those problems for people and you'll be okay people people want to become pioneers but you know many people haven't really been taught how to be a pioneer and what it takes to become a pioneer and that's one of the things you can do you can figure out how to solve a big problem that a lot of people have. There's many problems that many people have all around the world. There's billions of us. So if you just tap into a problem that many people have, then you can pioneer something new. You can become a pioneer yourself. So, yeah, it's hard learning how to do these things on your own. But if you want to become a pioneer, if you feel like you can do something but don't have the knowledge, you have to, man, use Google. Use YouTube. Now we have or well, Chat GPT. You can use so many different things to give you the knowledge to do the work that you need to do. So we don't have any excuses anymore as a people to, you know, all of us literally can be pioneers in some lane. Whatever your gift is, whatever you feel like you're focused on, whatever you feel like you're very passionate about, you can be a pioneer with teaching people that. Many people are on YouTube nowadays telling their stories, sharing their journeys and talking about what they're passionate about and making a living from it. And 
a big secret that I've noticed within the social media space and within the media space, I don't know if you guys know or not, but I'm going to give you guys a secret. The world is listening and waiting to hear what Africa has to say. Like, I don't know if y'all notice or not, but even in America, the top Billboard songs is African songs these days. Like, I think it's Burner Boy, that's his name, and some more African people are really at the top charts in America. So the world is like really trying to see what Africa has to say, what Africa is talking about. So people that are here, that are thinking about coming here, you have an opportunity to be the voice for Africa and have something to say of substance because nobody really knows. Like we've been lied to about what's going on over here and what's been going on. So, you know, being a pioneer and coming over here and talking about here is something that people can do as well. So, yeah, it's... It's not easy. Like I said, I'll keep saying it. It's not easy being a pioneer, but you can if you want to, if you feel called to, if you feel it within your body. If God put it within you to do it, he will give you the tools to get it done. But you have to do some work yourself. It's not just going to be handed to you. Like If it's handed to you, then you won't do anything with it. So you have to actively search and seek and try and find you know, those things so that you can elevate and get to the level of being a pioneer. But it ain't easy. I'm telling you, um, <clears throat> many people see problems in Africa, but those who are trying to find solutions to the problem rather than complain are the true pioneers. Like there's, um, we know that unfortunately Africa is behind technology wise. Like they've intentionally been held out from the things within technology, even though with the things that's going on within the Congo, they're actually stealing all of the minerals to actually make the technology what it is today. But unfortunately, Africa is still behind. But there are some people that's in place and working and doing things like myself right now, trying to amplify the message and say, you know what, we need to step up and get into position and step into roles and do things so that we can put Africa into the place that it needs to be. Because the more of us speak about what's going on, the more of, the more of us do things that's going to rectify what we're dealing with, the quicker we'll get to where we need to be. So you have to have the mindset of trying to find a solution to the problem. Because we know that there's big problems over here. But... What's the point of complaining about a problem if you're not going to do anything about it? Like we are, we're solution-based people. We have the, we have all of our limbs. There's enough of us over here to fix all the problems that we have. We just think together and work collectively. So you have the mindset of working and trying to build alongside your brothers and sisters and those who have the mindset of working and fixing what's going on over here. And you'll be a pioneer. You'll mess. You'll end up stepping into a lane that you didn't even know was a lane and are able to create something and provide something for your family all because you looked at providing a solution to a problem. Like I want I want to hit that home. Like if you see a big problem in the world or in Africa, just provide a solution to that problem. If you see a problem around you within your own household that a lot of people continuously deal with Create a solution to that problem and do it on a mass scale and you are considered a pioneer. So, yeah, be solution based if you want to be a pioneer. Pioneering to or through Africa takes a special type of drive and strength. If you're a type of person that's thinking about pioneering, you have to have some strength and some fortitude and drive to go through some dark things alone. You have to, I know many people that I've talked to that's um, my African brothers and sisters, you guys, whew, y'all have a tough time with y'all parents, man, <laughs> when y'all, <laughs> when y'all try and go on different paths that your father told you to go on, man, y'all have some tough times, so you got to be strong in those moments, man. I know I got a brother who, uh, he said from a young age, he knew that he wanted to play music, and, um, you know, of course, his father wasn't having that. He said within his household, he had to either go be a doctor or a doctor. That's all he had as an option. So he came home trying to play a guitar. And his father was not having that. He disowned him for a few years. And, man, it, it was a long, 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 painful story about trying to get him to stop playing his guitar. But, you know, that... My brother, he has a. Um, he knew that's what he wanted to do. He knew that was his purpose. He knew that he was that was a part of his 
his vision for his life. So he had to fight against his father from a young age to continue to stay on that path. Now he's reached a point now that he's an adult where his father actually respects what he's talking about and respects what he's doing. So for all my African brothers and sisters that's going through it with their father and mother because you're going on a path that's different from what they told you to do, you know, I know it's tough, but you got to stay strong and, you know, trust your conviction and trust your gut. And in the future, they will see and understand because all of this, all this information that we have access to, all of this that we see, you have to understand that our parents, your parents, they don't really have access to this. They don't really understand the fullness of what we have at our fingertips with these cell phones. So if you're thinking about doing something that your father or mother doesn't understand, you just have to chalk it up to them don't really understanding them not really understanding what's going on in the world. It's not that they don't respect you or appreciate you and think that you're doing something great. It's just they're scared because you're doing something that they haven't seen before. So they're kind of nervous and worried about their child. So you have to put yourself in their shoes for a minute and um, understand where they're coming from. But I know it's hard. And I can, I can understand how it can be frustrating to have to fight your parents to do your dream. But... Sometimes it's what we have to do. You have to fight those you're closest to in order to get to where you want to go. So, you know, be encouraged in your, in your, I don't want to say fight, but I guess it is a fight. In your fight, in your journey, in your plight to, you know, reaching your pioneer state and becoming the best level, the best version of yourself so that you can change your bloodline and how they operate. And uh, the next one is... You must have thick skin and be relentless and always focus on the future. Like, just to sum it all up, you got to be able to go through it and be okay with being talked crazy to, about, lied on, lied to, lied about. You have to be okay with that when you're pioneering and doing something of this magnitude and doing something that many people haven't seen before. But you have to be relentless in it and knowing like, okay... I'm focusing on the future. I'm doing something that people have never seen. And when we get to the future, everybody will be doing it and everybody will be trying to copy what we've done. So you have to know that everyone isn't looking into the future. Many people are just looking at how they can survive day to day. They're looking at how they can eat tomorrow. They're looking at how they can eat right now. So you're looking at the future. Your mind is going to be way past a lot of the people that surround you because you're not even thinking about the same thing. So you can't expect comfort with, from those who aren't even in the same mind frame of you, or as, you, as you or in the same mind state as you. So you got to be relentless in being alone, relentless in knowing that, OK, I'm pioneering. I may not see anything for a few years, but when I do see it, it'll be an outpouring and a huge increase and I'll elevate to a level that I couldn't even imagine. So you have to be okay with the delayed gratification. You have to be okay with trusting the process, going through the journey and looking into the future and focusing on the future because that's where the true, you know, wealth is. That's where the true that's where we are trying to reach anyway. That's the ultimate goal is to reach the future and be at a point that we're comfortable in the future and a point where we've changed our circumstances and changed what we've been living in. That's the main reason why many of us go on journeys of pioneering and trying to do things anyway because we are tired of the situation that we're in. At some point, you get sick of being in a mess. You get sick of like being down all the time. You get sick of being broke. You get sick of being worried about things and you just put your head down and you get to work. You get relentless and you just do what you need to do to get to where you need to go. So on the journey of being a pioneer, on this journey of coming back to Africa or doing anything where you're planning on pioneering in your life, be okay with being alone. Be okay with being relentless. You have to have a certain drive and a certain mindset where you don't care what anybody's talking about, what anybody's doing, and what their plan is. But you are pioneering something for you and your family. And if you focus on that, and if you keep your mind glued to that, and if you focus on the future, at some point, the future that you're looking for will become your reality, and you'll be at peace because you know that you worked and you pioneered something with your blood, sweat, and tears and made it happen. Of course, with the help of God. And of course, if you got a spouse with your spouse. And if you don't have a spouse, you did it by yourself. However you get it done, when you reach that level, it'll be that much sweeter and that much greater. So, yeah, it's not easy being a pioneer. 
but it's worth it. And if you just trust the process and trust the journey, God will make sure that you are celebrating and you are graciously walking in what you work towards. So, hey, if you're thinking about doing something like this, if you're thinking about going on a pioneer journey, stay focused, stay grounded, keep your mind focused on the future and trust God and he'll make sure that everything comes to life. So if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate your attention. I appreciate your time. And make sure y'all stay tuned for the next one where we will be bringing you guys some value and some more information that will be life-changing. All right? So y'all be safe out there. Shalom.